Today I'm going to be making cauliflower. It sounds really simple, but we put a little bit of Parmesan cheese, pickled peppers, and pine nuts. It's sort of a tongue twister, and a little bit of fresh mint makes it tasty, refreshing, and hits all the low flavor points. I wasn't fully afraid of vegetables as a child, but some of them I used to feed to my dog, Dr. Pepper. Even after he passed away, we'd still like put the, oop, Dr. Pepper ate my vegetables. Sorry, mom. I think that what we've done here with some of our vegetables is made people eat vegetables. Number one thing with vegetables, yes, steaming's great, and yay, you're gonna be healthy. But cauliflower tastes so much better if you saute it in a pan and get a little bit of color on it. So we start off with a hot pan, just a teeny bit of oil, saute it, get it nice and brown and yummy, and then we put in a compound butter. Fancy word we learned in culinary school, compound butter. We take a butter and soften it and mix in some roasted garlic and some breadcrumbs that we then use when we're cooking the cauliflower, so the breadcrumbs sort of crisp all over the cauliflower and make it all brown and bubbly and garlicky and delicious. So we sauteed it and we've made sure we got it soft, but you know that word al dente you use with pasta? You want that with vegetables too. You don't want it to be all mushy and just sort of mush in your mouth. You want to have a little bit of crunch left. So we get it till it's got that little bit of crunch and then we throw in some Parmesan cheese, shake it around so it melts all over the cauliflower. Throw in some pine nuts, which have already been toasted. You want to make sure you toast them. Um, that give it a little bit of crunch, but not too much. And then you throw in your pickled peppers, um, that pure pepper, pickled pepper thing, la la. Um, we use peppers from the farm. We get uh, Hungarian hot peppers and also banana peppers. If you're afraid of spice, you can go ahead and just use banana peppers. Hungarian hots, I think a nice mix makes it good. I'm kind of a spice wuss. Anything too spicy sort of freaks me out and make one of the faces like, ugh. So mint, mint is uh, one of my favorite herbs. I like mint and basil. I have a basil tattoo on my back. We'll get into that later. But mint is so refreshing and I think that I used to think of it for cocktails, which I do enjoy my cocktail, or for um, some sort of different Asian cuisines. You get a lot of mint, but it's so refreshing. And you know, think about that freshness that goes in your mouth when you're chewing whole bits. My favorite gum. Um, but you just throw a little bit of mint in there and it's really gonna brighten it up. So right towards the end, you wanna put the fresh herbs in right at the end of cooking. If you're using dried spices, those go in while something is slowly cooking, but fresh herbs always go in at the end, because otherwise they're gonna just turn into wilty nastiness. So right at the end, you throw in the mint, toss it around, and then on top, you wanna sprinkle a little more pine nuts, a little more cheese, a little more mint just in case there wasn't quite enough in there just so everybody gets a little bit of everything with each bite. At the very end we've got our cauliflower tossed really nicely with some pickled peppers, the pine nuts, a little bit of mint and parmesan on top and also incorporated throughout the dish. So each time you take a bite you're gonna get a little bit of that cheesy coating, hopefully a pickled pepper, a little pine nut, so there's always a perfect bite. I would just like to leave our menu pretty straightforward, slightly vague. It says sauteed cauliflower, mint, pickled peppers, parmesan, and pine nuts. Um, you know, without having any fancy sort of and and la 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 la. Just give people what's in the dish. The name of the dish is sauteed cauliflower. <laughs> we get really creative sometimes over here.